ourselves. This is Senator John Kennedy. President Johnson. Jimmy Carter. So it's an amazing lens on American culture and on American politics. This time, vote like your whole world depended on it. The biggest difference in ads that we see today is really in the editing. Today, we have a much faster pace. They splice different images together. There's much greater sophistication in the production that lies behind contemporary ads. Eisenhower answers America. The first presidential election where TV ads played a role was 1952. Dwight Eisenhower pulled together footage from press conferences and basically had Eisenhower answering America. This historic moment is brought to you by Citizens for Kennedy. 1960 is really considered the first television election. That was the first election where we had TV debates uh, between uh, Kennedy and Nixon. Ads also were seen as very prominent uh, because it was a way for Kennedy to basically contrast his youthfulness with Nixon's experience. They understand what peace demands. 1964 was a very interesting election in that it featured a lot of attack ads. Uh, there is a famous ad called the Daisy ad. Incumbent President Lyndon Johnson had a little girl in a meadow pulling petals off of a daisy, and in the background you have the countdown, and at the end of the ad there's a nuclear explosion. By today's standards, it seems remarkably tame because we've seen a lot more vicious and personal attacks on individuals. But when that ad aired, it actually only aired once on network television, the public outcry was so strong that Johnson took down that ad and never aired it again. In the 1960s, television ads became more negative and observers started to worry about ads becoming too manipulative. And then in the 1970s, people really just played to cynicism. Jimmy Carter's candidacy is truly of the people and for the people. I don't think there were big production value changes at that uh, point in time. I mean, the, the editing starts to get a little more sophisticated, but nothing compared to what we saw in the 1980s. It's morning again in America. Reagan was a game changer in terms of TV advertising. Everything had to be uh, just right. So Reagan put together an ad called Morning in America that basically showed the sun rising and the country doing better economically. All of these things combined to make for a very effective ad. Dukakis on crime. I've been studying ads for over 20 years. The very first campaign that I looked at was the 1992 uh, presidential campaign between Clinton and Bush. That was a very interesting campaign. Clinton's people actually went out on the streets and found real validators of their message, and that really helped him win that election. 2000 was really the first race where the internet starts to be used by presidential candidates. They would uh, put policy uh, papers on the website. They would start to put ads that they had uh, broadcast uh, on the website. So you start to see the early usage of digital communications. I served with John Kerry. I served with John Kerry. John Kerry has not been honest. In 2004, we see independent groups running ads. You had the Swift Boat ads. Uh, Bush had a windsurfing ad that basically made the point that the guy was wishy-washy, he changed his position with the wind. I mean, what politicians have discovered is nothing is ever private anymore. We didn't see examples of that in uh, 2008. Both McCain and Obama were careful about how they uh, presented themselves. Today, everybody is a broadcaster. The goal today is to have your video go viral. I got a crush on Obama in 2008. In 2008, you have uh, the Obama girls or the McCain girls. He's so bold. And yet demure. What we're really seeing is the democratization of video. We're seeing an explosion of super PACs uh, this year owing to the Supreme Court decision, Citizens United. And so you have multimillionaires or billionaires who are writing checks to support advertising by outside groups. One of the problems 
is you can get a wide range of positive and negative messages. You can have outrageous attacks that are being broadcast or put into YouTube videos and nothing can stop them. And so I think the greatest danger today is there's been a dramatic increase in factual inaccuracy in political communications. High prices are just driving me crazy. Yes, my mamie gets after me about the high cost of living. Ads are not just about the production technique. From the very beginning, ads have tried to connect the politician to the voter. Candidates who do well have to have a message that resonates with the nature of the times. So the ads today aren't that different in the sense that they focus on uh, background, uh, character, and leadership.